All right, guys, how's it going? Alarith here, and we are doing the Dark Souls 3 Ashen Blood. I think it's Ashen Blood mod for PC. It is a Bloodborne over... <laughs> Animation's broken. Anyways, it is a Bloodborne overhaul mod for Dark Souls 3. It's just in the demo right now, though. So right now, all we have access to is the Undead Settlement... Ooh, okay. Uh, we have access to the Undead Settlement, and then we have access to the first level of the first DLC, the Undaria level of the first DLC. But, <laughs> with the overhaul, this is very hard. <laughs> like, for example, I streamed it today. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Alarth underscore, come check it out. We're going to be streaming every Monday through Friday. Five days a week, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. But, we streamed it today. We only streamed for an hour today. Um, today being February 15th. Uh, Tuesday, February 15th. And uh, we didn't make that much progress at all. So I'm actually curious about how strong my weapon is. Because this guy is still a rough one to fight. Okay. This sword has actually very good reach to it, though. Okay, that guy was actually pretty easy. Not gonna use any of those items. Probably gonna sell every single one of them. Yeah, we're scaling to strength, so, huh, we're doing a strength build this time around. Which, strength build for me is not new at all. Oh, hold up, we're almost there, there we go. Gotta do a little trick to get that Bolt Hunter's mark. <clears throat> Excuse me. There should be another one right here. Oh, this is where our Molotovs are at. Awesome. Very nice, very nice. And we have one more item over here to get. Huh. A sword that we're going to sell. Alright, that's every item... I lied. Psych, I lied. We're gonna try to get this item up here. I have no idea how to get up here. I have no idea how you're supposed to get up here to this ledge at all. Unless you can get... Actually, ha! I never even tried to get on top of Fire Link at all. I'm sure you're just able to climb up on top of Fire Link. Like, I don't know why I never went up here at all. I'm actually curious if you can do the skip. Hey, you can still do the skip. Let's go. This is probably actually how you're able to get that item. Huh. Yep. That is how you're supposed to get that item. I heard the Titanites. We'll go grab that item in a second. We're going to pick up the stuff that's in here first. 
Okay, so Pickle P is still up there. Oh, there's still an Estus shard up here. Very nice. The skull ring. Huh. It boosts soul gain, but the wearer is easily detected by enemies. Okay. I accept your challenge. Sell all the stuff here. Look at us, slowly but surely getting new our outfit. Uh, this mod automatically gives you every single coal at the start. Just right up there against the wall with a bloodstone shard. So I guess if we had picked, uh, I guess if we had picked our, the bloodstone shard is one of the starting gifts, cause that is an option for one of the starting gifts. I guess if we had picked that instead of, uh, the soul of a fallen soldier, the crestfallen knight, whichever one it is, is the one that I picked. Don't kill me. Oh, thank God. Oh, and it's just blood vials. Okay. I'm like less upset about missing that one on other playthroughs now. So while we were over there, I meant to reinforce our Estus flask, but completely forgot to. Sweet. <clears throat> All right. All right. Um, we're gonna go to the undead settlement. This is the one that we're gonna start at. Oh, and sorry if y'all hear the fan in the background. It's pretty. It gets pretty toasty in my room or in my office at nights. I still don't know what this item is. If the developer of this mod is watching this video, what item is this? And what do I have to do to fix it? <laughs> if you know how to fix it. It's actually a decent more amount of souls. I'll have to kill a standard enemy to see how many or how many souls I get now. Because I know a standard enemy only gives like like 80 souls or 100 souls maybe. Whatever it is, it's not a lot. First, I'm going to test out our sword in one-handed mode and see how it does. So normally you get 50 souls. Wow, okay. 
So these enemies just swing faster, I guess. Or they're swinging faster. I'll have to get used to it either way. Okay, so you're getting a little bit extra souls per enemy kill. And for those that play the mod, I can link, I'll link it down in the description below if y'all want to check it out if you play Dark Souls on PC. Or I'll link the website where I got it from. on this sword is pretty crazy I mean, you can just literally roll into enemies to stun lock them that way this area kind of pissed me off the first time I ran through here Kill me, bro? No way that didn't kill me. Dude. Drink your beverage, drink it now. How, dude? Fuck, dude. Serious tough. All right. We'll use my souls real quick. I just realized my beard is coming through my mask. That's funny. <laughs> Excuse me. So here's the biggest test of time. I think health gain is a little busted up right now in the mod because oh hey we can plus one our sword Uh, sometimes you can literally just roll past an enemy and you'll get your health back. And that's just kind of funny to me. That dude was coming out swinging. 
more Molotovs. What you got, buddy? You got nothing. Except for some blood vials for me. Thanks, dude. Literally knocking the thing off will make the item despawn. That's crazy. <laughs> Got some pine resin that we're like never going to use, so that's good. There's a single checkpoint opened up. Or shortcut. Not a checkpoint. What am I talking about? Nothing, bitch. <laughs> Swung too soon. All right, got ourselves a third Estes shark. Very nice. happy with this amount of soul gain that we're getting right now. Anything else? Any more else? That's a sentence. If I've ever heard one, that's a sentence. Hmm. 
You're not gonna scare me, devil man. Another lovely customer. Oh, snap. Old woman, word. Whoa. I healed. What do you mean, bro? Got a second ember too, that's hot. Let's go, dude. Oh. Yeah, you know it's not hot though? Getting my ass demolished by those dogs. <clears throat> that's what we call a not pleasant time. I'll tell you what. I will say something. Getting to that checkpoint was very, very sick. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, oh, I do. I am about it. I will. Oh, I uh. we need to go see if he can offer me anything. So we have seven bloodstone shards. So we can plus two our sword. Plus, make it holy. We hit the we hit the ten K. I gotta say after a single run through, I'm kind of impressed with myself right now. Two twelve per swing. I like it. I like it. So right, we're gonna sell this, we're gonna sell these, we're gonna sell these. I meant to uh, create a blessed weapon, that's what I meant to do. Cause it's like I was meaning to make or buy something. Oh wait. Never mind. I was thinking that this armor set was already in Dark Souls. So, actually. No, I ought to not. I ought to not do that. Because I don't have a very high insight. Welcome 
Don't I eye them to death? Very well. Then take. We're gonna level. How many times can we level up? Four times. Okay. Oh, I see. up to 16. That sounds good to me. Alright. Now we should be ready to wreck through the next little bit. Maybe I shouldn't have spoke over the monster. Now what you want, motherfucker? Oh, that's a one shot, baby. Um, ouch, mister. I would like for that enemy to apologize. Uh. I guess every enemy. Found the sweet spot of not or of one shotting enemies. This is beautiful. Shit, dudes, I'm sorry. Here is another shortcut open. <laughs> With a harder version of that enemy to fight. We are halfway there to being able to upgrade our weapon.
Oh, shit. The snapper with the crackle and the popperoo. There's a pupper right here. I was about to say he's about to get sent straight to the gulag. a serene to increase bleed resistance that's actually kind of significant against those uh against those big enemies that's actually pretty significant oh yeah buddy we got the castus or the cestus however you say it <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. That area is blocked off. Man, I have PTSD from Cinders. Running up there and that fucking mini boss from Dark Souls 2 spawning in on me. You guys ready to knock him down the ledge? So I know I'll die this time. Because I don't have the silver cat ring. But playing as the assassin character. access to the silver cat ring at the start so that makes me think could you survive that jump with the silver cat ring Snap! Ha! We can plus through our weapon before fighting the boss. Once we get all of our uh, shortcuts opened up, though. this dude to smack down on. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so curious. What boss is up here? Not up, not up here, but... <laughs> Um, 
up here as in in here. Ah, doesn't open from the side. So wait, how am I supposed to Is there no boss? Because like There's nowhere else to go in this area. So, actually... There's this door right here. And we can buy the key. It's one of the it's one of the many keys. So I say let's go buy that key. And go explore down there cuz I mean really That's really like the only other place we can go. We're gonna go upgrade it first at the uh, settlement shrine. Two thirty seven, that's a that's a lot. Very well then taken. Farewell, I shall meet. I forgot to buy souls, so we can't afford it anyways. Not right now, at least. After killing Holy Knight Hodrick, though. <laughs> Fucking A, guys. No, sir. No healing in this area. That gave me, that put me back to full. Holy shite. Well, there's only one thing I can think to do. Uh, 
I like how Holy Knight Hodrick literally was programmed. I like how the knight was literally programmed to get hit, take any damage at all, and then heal up immediately. Okay. Now we bought the key. Can we level up one more time? Because I'll happily put another point into health. We can. Let's go. Farewell, Ashen One. Okay. All right. Fast traveling to Undead Settlement one more time. This is the last time for this video. We will do Ariandel in a second part. If we can find our bloodstone or twin bloodstone shards there, that would be sweet. Bro. Oh my gosh, excuse me, guys. Another Estus shard, wow. So we only deal 20 less points of damage with the one-handed, and it swings way faster. And we're basically getting the same result, so... Wow, okay. Oh, this dude's about to drop it on me like it's hot. I know he is. Yeah, guys, I can't lie. One-handed version of the sword, superior in my opinion, than the two-handed, at least in this mod. Oh my god. Anything else? Anything else that I need to be worrying about? Oh, 
I, I came your time, but if... Oh, th I sh I... Word. <laughs> I'm I am an oh what's the I am an <laughs> Okay. Oh we can't climb up this ladder. There's a ladder here. It's interesting seeing how much they changed in the world. this there's a covenant that involved going to this area well this pit is for hollows or perhaps <laughs> yes yes it's important but we'll bet you might You'll see. Word. <laughs> You'll go. Take my. This pit. <laughs> this pit. You. So nowhere else to go. We just kind of got to Oh. something that's all there is to do in that area that's actually kind of underwhelming it's like how are you I understand it's a demo how are you gonna not include a boss though like that person would have made this experience for me Oh, the animation's just broken. I see. So it's two-handed. It's 304. Oh, it scales to S, so that makes sense, actually. So we're gonna go back to double-check that last door. I guess if we can't go through that door, there will be no need to proceed on. Going through this area at least, we can just go on to the next level. One shotting skeletons and one handed is a, is a dream. Oh, that's beautiful. That is great. Oh, this person responds. 
They're about to get sent down to the good heavens. We just about shadow realmed every single one of those dudes. So first we'll try this door. Okay, I am very curious. Let it still please be the Onion Knight. <laughs> yes. Hmm. So first we'll go down to the bottom level to see if Okay. Nice. And I'm assuming we can't go through this door. Yep. Okay, so They could have they could have even made him a boss and I would have been satisfied. But they didn't, so I'm kinda disappointed. But there's still a few other chances. I say a few, there's actually only one more chance that I can think of. laughing at me. Ooh, a Dream Chaser's Ashes. Okay. Who are I have. I have. Oh, there's a lantern up here. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, so hear me out. Oh, that looks beautiful from up here. Okay, so he is down there. Let's go fight our quote unquote boss. Hmm. I missed! That's fine though, that's fine though. Alright, sorry about that. Okay, so let's see, go see if they turned this enemy into a boss.
is honestly fighting fighting a boss with the onion knight would be dope as hell so let's go see if they actually did that Appear like that, you had me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unwrapped. <laughs> On some day, I went up the tower, so I thought. I'm not. Anyhow, I'm no coward, and I. How now? I could try to. No, I've got. To... I could try. I. I think we all know what I'm thinking, viewers. No! You sh well, uh What in the fuck? An epic battle indeed, Sigurd. Or Sieg Sigurd. That was quite a book, but you mustn't. We unkind. But for the moment, to your valor. Long may. <laughs> That's the emote I was looking for. Well, the only thing to do. <laughs> you said take a nap. <laughs> yes, they do. Ooh, what's down here? Oh, uh, nothing. Dude is just chillaxing in his chair. Respect. Now, I haven't done that encounter in a while. So I'm not sure if everything is normally on fire. I just healed for no reason. Oh boy, I should have never sold her head or her, her hat. Because I could eventually get that whole set. Let's go, baby. You're fucking kidding me. There we go. Ooh, the northern set. It is higher in defense. 
but we'll take it. And we look pretty cool too. All right, let's see if there's anything else. Good, Lord. All right, now what do we got going on out here? Mm, the blessed gym is nice. Oh, bro, we just found Flynn's ring, dude. Oh my god, we're about to get, but we're about to be busting. We're about to be giving these enemies the SmackDown versus Raw treatment, my dudes. Oh my god, there's no way. Holy shit, we survived that. How did we survive that, dudes? Yay! <laughs> I don't even care if the boss is a mediocre boss like the Curse Rod at Greatwood. At least we get to fight a boss. That's all I'm saying. At least we can fight a boss. Oh, shit. Alright. I'm sold. I'm sold. Now we are ruthless on each of our attacks. All right. Uh, there is a shortcut we can, oh, there's a chest right here. We can't miss this. Oh! Ooh. Now there's one more shortcut we can open up just in case we do die, which I personally don't think we will, but yeah, there's always the chance. And it's this one, since you know that lamp is right up there. I don't even remember what items are here. The threaded cane? Let's go! 
Y'all know what that means. We can alternate between two builds. So I'm pretty sure a sharp threaded cane will have an S scaling. Oh boy. Yeah, buddy. Let's fight a boss. The boss health bar, dude. Let's go. Alchemic Essence. I'm curious as to- Oh my god, I have 60 blood vials, dude. Oh my god. All it took was fighting that boss, or this DLC. Oh wait, what's going on right here? Nothing, cause I'm a dingus, what's going on right here? Where is this essence supposed to go? Maybe I just have to, uh, give it to, like, her, maybe. A pretty love to love. Farewell. Maybe I give it to the bath messengers? Well, we're gonna buy a life ring for sure. We can buy we can buy resins and papers and stuff now. Sweet. That's a significant increase, though. Yep, I knew it was going to be an S and uh. So we need to have. We need to buy 11 of the shards. Because you need 12 total, and I only had one. Oh my god, look at where the corner sit hit him. That 
that thing consumes like no stamina to swing. Oh my god. And it's 192. Look at how fast this thing swings. Oh my god. So sharp threaded cane versus heavy Ludwig's holy blade. Then I might have to go with the cane on this one. Holy shit. Blade? I'm not gonna sell this sword though, but like good alert. What I'm curious about though. Is the move set on this bad boy? Oh, what? One eight. Oh, my God, dude. Okay. I'm going to level up. Yeah, put all our points into health because we're going to need that. I have a feeling. For when we go to the painted world of Ariandel in the next episode. Mm. So thank you to everyone that. Hold on. Hold on. Ah. 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 Have you just arrived? How very unusual. Just how long has it been? Rejoice, my new friend. For this is a true haven of the forlorn, the cold and gentle painted world of Ariandel. Quick, go along. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Ah, you're no exception. We've all seen terrible things. But you're safe now. Let it ease your burden. Ariandel will make a fine home for you. So, go on ahead, a sweet. So, Quiz. I've actually never played this DLC before, which is funny. This mod will be the first time of me playing through this DLC. So, um, yeah, that's gonna cut it for this video. Thank you all for watching it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like on the video. So I'll know that this is the content that you enjoy watching. <laughs> and uh, subscribe for more gaming content. Elden Ring, as of recording, comes out in 10 days. Well, as soon as that comes out, uh, we'll be streaming it on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Alarith underscore. I said that earlier, but we're saying it again. Um, and then I'll be re-uploading those streams to YouTube. So if you miss it, don't worry. The full game will be played on YouTube. And uh, really, that's going to cut it. You guys have a good night, and I'll see you all tomorrow.